In this video, we explore the basic functions of the CNC rotary unit. Use the chuck key to open the chuck jaws on the front end of the rotary. At the back end, the locking pin is what will keep the material in place. And it has locking sliders that keep it in place. Now, place one end of the material into the chuck jaw and tighten. On the other end, move the locking pin into position. Now rotate the wheel until the material is sitting tightly in place. And once it is there, move the sliders into place and lock them. From here, we're going to use the remote control. Firstly, we are going to center the starting position on the Y axis by pressing Y minus or Y plus. And we use the X axis to turn the rotary by pressing X minus or X plus. When we are close enough to where we want the project to start, we can achieve higher accuracy by using step to move in millimeters in order to find the exact point we want to start. Okay, and once we are happy with that, we set the X and Y coordinates by pressing the XY zero button and then press OK. And for the Z axis, we hold down shift and press XY zero again and then press OK. Now all the coordinates are on zero, zero and zero value and we are ready to cut. So now, once we're finished with the artwork in our software, we save our design to a USB and put the USB into the router. On the remote control, we press File and select the design file, then press OK to load it. And it's done. Just press the green play button and off it goes. This is an example of a basic design cut out of wood, and depending on what your goals are, making use of the correct bits and collets will ensure your desired outcome. And you will be pleased to know that am.co.za also sells a large variety of bits and collets. Just call sales for more information. 